Hello there. I'm skipping ahead again to chapter six. I promise to tend to mind and body. Every time I talk to people, to leaders especially, I remind them that everything I'm about to say, everything I will suggest is energy expensive. It will require focus, enthusiasm, the building of new skills, and on and on. Leadership is not a burden, but it does require much of us in whatever context we happen to be in. And I've been talking a lot, and you will have seen if you follow me on social media, my hashtag of fill my cup, because I love the phrase, I love the, the quote that I heard, you can't pour from an empty cup. We've got to promise to take care of mind and body. We've got to promise to fill our cup in order to be at our best for our team. One of the challenges here is that we think that filling our cup is doing our 14 hour day, whether it be studying or working, taking care of our families. And then we crash. And the next thing we know, we wake up in the morning, bleary eyed, exhausted. And that period of, is it sleep or is it just passing out with tiredness? Falling asleep in the chair after work. This is not recuperation. Recuperation often takes energy to do. It's ridiculously early in the morning right now. Um, because I, I went to bed at 9.30 p.m. last night and so woke up at 3.30 this morning. But very soon I will head off on my morning walk to fill my cup. I do not feel like going for a walk this morning. I feel like taking advantage of this time and just sitting around. But I know that when I get to Regent's Park, which is where I'm going this morning, whether the sun is shining or as I imagine, it is drizzling on me. That journey will clear my head. That walk will at least get my heart pumping a little bit. And when I get back, I will be better for it. We must remember to fill our cups. As leaders, we can't pour from an empty one. I promise to tend to mind and body. Chapter six. You can't just exhaust yourself. You can't just squeeze yourself till there's nothing left and then imagine that one hour of recuperation will help you. You have to build this into your schedule. I promise to tend to mind and body. What will you do to incorporate some kind of recuperation? Not just crashing, not just drifting into sleep to be wrenched from it early the next day. What are you going to incorporate? It is not a luxury, it is not selfish, it is self-care that makes you better as a leader for others.